Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the channel that plays oddly specific games for your viewing pleasure. We're out in one that I've taken a little bit of a break from, but I'm excited to be back into it, at least for right now. I'm probably going to get frustrated in about 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, Workshop Simulator. In the last episode, I spent like three hours fixing a sewing machine box. I think that's what it was called. And uh, yeah, we're going to find out what we're doing today. Smoker request or let me ask you a question. Okay, with the dad joke with Clint, we have to do that one first. Got a 50s fireman axe that's collecting rust and dust. Okay, let's get that. We got the new angle grinder, so I'm excited to try that out. All right, I read all this and I still have no idea what this item is. It's some sort of model that they designed, I think, and they're a smoker. There's so much information on every item in this game. I am way too lazy to read all that. Uh, so let's go see what the two items we have are. Oh, it's a bee smoker. Oh, I thought I was so confused. I thought the whole email was about a smoker. And that was why the item was so bad because it was in a smoker's house. I want to start with the bee smoker. I am oddly interested. I don't think it showed payment before. So it's nice to see how much we're actually getting paid for these. And I'm getting a little bit more for the smoker. So yeah, we'll start with that. All right. Well, this one wasn't too bad. Uh, I think, yes, that's all the pieces. So eight pieces and $30. I wonder if they updated the game to make it a bit easier. Because <laughs> I think I did, what, 130 pieces and I got paid like 30 bucks, it felt like. So uh, yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than expected. Usually this process is really easy. I guess when you're, you know fixing something that has essentially had a fire smoldering inside its whole life uh it's gonna be a lot harder like look at how rusty this is okay i think now i truly do need the spray if you remember uh the spray didn't really help me before like i'm wiping this off and it's just not working at all so let's try and spray it all right first part is done that took way longer than expected for only eight parts but that's fine now we get to use the fancy angle grinder so i'm very excited for that and yes that's exactly how you use an angle grinder just you know straight sideways nice to see this thing has some detail on it oh that's a little bee that's adorable all right and we are done well we're not done i'm pretty sure we still have to paint this I kind of have an idea for this, so this is exciting. Yes, we got to paint the uh, main pieces here. Oh, and that's right. We have our spray paint we didn't get to use in the last episode. This is actually not much better than the uh, the old paintbrush, at least for this part. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I can't change the size of the paintbrush. I was going to try and make it look like a bee because, you know, it's a bee smoker. All right, well, I'm going to do the best thing that I can which is just do this middle part black. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much, but it definitely gets the B vibe going. So I'm happy with that. So I'm assuming there's this paint booth workbench. This is what I need to get into more detail. Right now, we really don't have any of the fancy stuff in this game. All right, you know what? Don't hate it. It definitely gives me the B vibe. <laughs> Next job should be extremely easy. It's an ax. It's literally two pieces, so. I'm glad these things are easy, at least for the start. There, I did it. Yay. Can you use an angle grinder on wood? Well, in this game, you can. <laughs> oh, this is going to be pleasing. Look at how rusty this thing is. My God, it's like brand new. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, I think that's it for this one. We shouldn't need... Do we need to paint it? I mean, I guess I'll paint it. I guess that makes sense. You can paint the wood if you want. I kind of like the natural look, but let's paint it red to hide the blood. All right, I'm nervous about tomorrow. Every day in this game where there's an easy day, the next day is generally very hard. So that was a very easy day. And that is 50 bucks well earned. Actually, oh. Oh, okay, that's just them responding. Let's claim those, make sure we get paid. And a new day is upon us. Let's find out. Oh no, it's one job. That's a bad sign meeting people oh this is grandma what's up oh no she wants to enjoy moments together when she gets back but the projector has been in a sorry state for a while now the projector that is a lot of pieces i know already did i give it a look over i guess only because you're my grandmother i don't think i get paid for these and they're the hardest jobs i hate grandma man all right let's go get this thing see how bad it looks Yep, that is looking pretty rusty. Should we just buy a new one, Grandma? Jesus. I didn't even know there was an extra floor here with more crap I gotta repair. Okay. Oh, God. I'm getting anxiety already. Um, If it's anything like the sewing machine kit, this is going to be fun to take apart. It's looking rather empty in there, which gets me excited. It might not be too bad. 
All right, you know what? I see that it's 28 pieces. We've had way worse in this game. It's looking like I'm at more or less the frame now. 25 out of 28, so this bottom must come off. Yes. What else am I missing? This front? Yep, front plate, and then the whole thing. At least it's one tray. Got some weird angles on this, though, and it's always fun dealing with pieces like this. All right, this has been actually very pleasing. I don't know why, but there's certain things that don't bother me, and this is definitely one of them. I think it's because it's all metal. I hate wood in this game, as I've said before, just because there's no fun in it. Oh, I'm only painting one piece? Huh, I wonder... I hope I can add detail. Let's see how thick this is. I'm going to do blue again. I just like blue for some reason. No, I really... I'm, it's frustrating that I can't change the nozzle size. Well, I guess the benefit is this won't take long at all, being that it's only one piece I'm dealing with. So is it all going to look silver? That's going to look weird. There we go. Well, we're done. And I hate it. I Well, we're, actually, we're not done. Hold on. Now we're done. Why is it silver? Let me paint those. I wonder if I screwed up somehow or something and I was able to. Well, there it is. Wait, is this... Oh, okay. We're back at the house. I got... I, I... I guess I got teleported here. Well, a cigar cutter, that sounds easy. And I'm assuming Alex wants a hand drill because of the whole title of this. Again, not going to read all these because they go into way too much detail. I don't think I've sent that long of an email to anyone, let alone someone who's repairing my uh, cigar cutter. Okay, that's a lot more in-depth than I thought. I thought it'd be one of those little handheld ones. The hand drill, very basic. So should be actually another pretty easy day. And yeah, we're definitely getting paid more, I think. 45 and $40 for a hand drill? Let's start off with the hand drill. That's the easy one. At least I hope it is. 25 pieces? I can count like five total. Oh God, okay. I've underestimated how in-depth this is gonna be. Okay, slowly making my way down. There's a giant dowel there. And there we go. 25 out of 25. A lot of metal we're gonna have to deal with and very small pieces, which are usually very frustrating. Well, I kind of zoned out on this one and forgot I'm a YouTuber and I'm supposed to commentate. Regardless, I did it. Yay. <laughs> And now we assemble everything back together. Again, I would have never known that these old school drills had so many pieces on it if it wasn't for weird games like this. I like the color I chose. This is nice. And there we go. Man, I kind of want to use this thing. Next up, cigar cutter. This is probably... Well, it's actually smaller than I thought. 33 pieces, so very similar to the last one. And I can easily see where everything is. It's not hidden inside, so this should be easy to disassemble. As I say that, I'm struggling figuring out what to take off. Okay, there we go. All disassembled. It's about half wood, half metal, so this should be fun. You know, it's kind of weird, the projector that I was doing. I uh, could paint one piece, and there was pieces that I definitely wanted to paint on it. Still frustrated about that, by the way, for some weird reason. But hey, a cigar puller, I can paint literally everything, wood and metal. It, it, it's great. All right, time for reassembly. In retrospect, white is kind of weird, but I kind of love it. Oh, it's so much easier to put this thing back together than it was to disassemble it. Why didn't I restore that? Why is that rusty still? Why would I not restore that? Oh my God, I'm so frustrated right now. Well, there we go. <laughs> this is like the Apple product of uh, cigar cutters. <laughs> the rusty damn thing at the bottom. Like, I don't understand why it would not get me to restore that if I restored literally everything else. I have to say it looks fantastic, though. Oh, no. I've actually heard horror stories about this sewing machine. Um, a lot of people say it's really difficult. So I didn't even read grandma's freaking email because they get longer after every one. But yeah, that's what she obviously wants me to repair. So I don't know. You know what? I can skip days. I really want to get at least an upgrade before I try and do this thing. What am I sitting at right now? $135. I'm very, very close to at least getting one of the decent machines. So let me see what happens. I've never tried to end day beforehand. Oh, I can't. I literally, I can't go ahead. I have to use basic hand tools to freaking fix this thing. Oh no. Oh, okay. It's two trays. We've had worse. But it's very mechanical, obviously, and it's probably going to be very confusing. Okay, well, let's get out the old screwdriver. And when I press Alt, I'm getting anxiety already. Let's start off with the plate at the bottom. That's easy to understand. Okay, there we go. The internals are looking pretty clean. Okay, 10 minutes later, and we are done, baby. Uh, there's a lot of uh, small parts in there, as you can see. 
Oh, at least it's well organized. We got metal on left, obviously wood on the right. That's nice. You know, the more I play this game, the more I just realize I'm essentially a slave to grandma. I, I've essentially repaired half of her house at this point and really haven't been paid much. I mean, I still haven't unlocked any of the big machinery and she's clearly not paying me. I mean, God, I should get a lot of money for this. But I can't because it's grandma and you can't charge her, little jerk. All right, I don't know if I'm getting better at this game. I don't know if that's even possible, but uh, that didn't take me long at all. So this is a good sign. I think grinding is going to be the funnest part. I should probably spray this one. I haven't been spraying anything because they're so small. But this is looking pretty gunky, man. So <laughs> spraying it sometimes makes it a little bit easier, at least. You know, I think I'm definitely going to get the wedding station first, especially with like things like this. It's very hard to see at the end. What exactly the hell you're missing? Because uh, it's not the wetness. It's just there's actually dirt on it. But obviously, when it looks like this, dirt is hard to find. So definitely when I can get the money, I think I'm going to get the washing station first. The pressure washing workbench. You guys know how much I love pressure washing on this channel. All right. Well, that was a lot of very boring pieces, but I saved the best for last. Yes, this is going to be great. Let's get a nice zoom in here. This angle grinder, especially with how much metal we're working with now, as you can see, makes jobs much, much quicker. And there we go. That is a big chunk of metal. Now let's flip it and dirty again oh okay and finally i haven't really thought about what color i want to paint this thing but uh it's gonna look good regardless i think the wood i'm simply just gonna paint black and well that's not black is it um i don't know what color i really like the blue in this game but i feel like i do everything blue so we'll probably do like yellow or something i don't know what people were talking about honestly i think the sewing box was way harder than this thing this was uh this is actually quite nice. Still kind of sucks, though. The hardest items in this game are things I don't get paid for, which is why I've earned almost no money in this game. It's kind of insane. Ah, <sighs> and there we go. Now for the very fun part of reassembly here. Oh, this is going to look so cool, I think. The uh, black and yellow together. Okay, now that I see it all back together, you know, the yellow might might have been a bit much, but... I have to say, I do really like the look of it. And we'll just put the box back together. And I think, are we done? 118 out of 123. I think it doesn't include those until I nail them in. And yes, there we go. Ah, that actually looks really nice. I like it. Uh, game. What the, what the freak is this? This isn't the sewing machine I did. My, my whole life is a freaking lie. Come on, are you serious? Everything else has been the same color that I painted when I put it back in the house. Like, look at it. Why? Why would it do that? That's so frustrating. Why make me paint it if you're just going to decide the color for me? All right, going to kind of rush through these jobs, but I just wanted to show you what they look like before and after, only because I really want to get one of the power tools today. And obviously with these two, we should be okay. So we have a bread cutter, aka a glorified knife, and uh, a spiral jack, which is used to lift cars up, obviously. Okay, well, another day, another dollar, at least hopefully. Okay, and there we go. The jack's all done. Uh, ironically, that was the hardest thing I had to do this episode, I think. So, <laughs> I guess you guys didn't see it anyways. All right, but that has given me enough for the pressure washing workbench. And I am doing it right away. Why is there a sponge? Please don't tell me. I, I still have to use the sponge. Oh, my God. All right, so let's try this bread cutter out. Oh, God, there's two trays. I thought the last one was hard. This one's going to be hard, too. I don't know why I'm getting frustrated. The whole point of this game is for these things to be not difficult. <laughs> All right, but bread cutter is done. 29 pieces. And yes, freaking please. Why? Okay, it isn't a sponge. It just says it's a sponge. I have to say, not what I expected when it said pressure washer. This is, this is essentially a sink. All that work. All that work and I... I get a sink. It's so weird because this game has the best objects I've ever seen in like a simulation game. Everything is extremely unique. I've said that many of times, but I feel like they've spent so much time on the items and really made the actual tools an afterthought, which is a huge bummer because if this game had some of the tools that other simulators have had, this, this would be amazing. It's easily one of the most beautiful simulation games out there. It has some of the coolest items, but the tools just have so much to be desired. So yeah, I, I hate to be a downer. I mean, this is definitely nice, but I was really hoping 
<laughs> it would be like a legit power washer where I could just do these things in seconds. Still didn't take too long at all, though. All right, but there we go. We got a nice green bread cutter here. Uh, and I think we'll wrap up this episode here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the satisfying restoration once again uh always have a blast in this game but yeah i think i'm gonna wait a little bit as the game is still being developed i'm hoping the tools get better because yeah as i said it's just compared to the actual items in this game the tools just i feel like need a little bit of work regardless still an absolutely beautiful game very chill game if you just want to like zen out and yeah i'm kind of excited to see where this story goes as well as grandma should be coming back sooner or later i'm assuming by the end of the month but yeah once again this is workshop simulator i hope you guys enjoyed the journey and as always thanks for watching and liking guys i'll see you in the next one